みなさんこんにちは、たこみです。And welcome to the first episode of the podcast Nintendo Emblem, your terminal and destination to everything Nintendo. So today, in the first episode ever, I'm so excited. And today we'll be talking about the Nintendo Direct of 8th February 2023, which was a pretty good hit to be honest. Plus, we got a lot of stuff like games, DLCs, new titles, plus stuff that we have been waiting for. So, we'll be talking about the Nintendo Direct and we'll be seeing, like, looking how will be the future next. What do we expect? So, let's start with the first game we have today, which is Pikmin 4. And the trailer of the game started with a normal landing on Earth, doing Pikmin stuff. Until some dramatic change happened, bringing stuff, fighting enemies, and there have been noticed a really cute dog. Seriously, it's so cute. And it's called Oachi. I guess Oachi, Oachi, yeah, Oachi. And we got new types of Pikmin, like Ice Pikmin, Rock Pikmin. No, wait a minute.、Uh, Rock Pikmin is the old one. We got Ice Pikmin type.、Um, to be honest, I like. Pikmin, I love Pikmin, and it's a pretty interesting game. So it's worth a try. I wish there'll be a demo later. Next, we had one of the games that everyone h a v e been talking about, and there have been a lot of rumors like two months ago. And people said that there is a new administration for a Metroid game, and that's true. We got Metroid Prime Remastered. Like, or remake, yeah, Metro Prime Remake. This game is like one of my favorite games. It's like my first ever Metroid game I've tried on my Nintendo Wii. And let's be honest, this game is amazing. Like, the word amazing is like a small word for it. It's exciting, blood flooding, like, so good. Like, I'm so happy that we'll be able to play this game again. You can play it with the dual stick controls to the classic GameCube game controller, and it will be coming to the eShop the day that the Nintendo Direct was released, and the physical version will be coming to stores 22 February. No, this game, I must buy this game.、Um, If you watch my videos on my YouTube channel called Takumi Designs, you must know that I don't buy a lot of games because, like, you know, a little bit cheap, but this game is worth buying it. I'll give it rating 9.8 out of 10 for being so late. Next, we had. Something everyone has been requesting, which Game Boy and Game Boy Advance on Nintendo Switch Online. Finally, we got that. Like, finally. So, we'll be getting on the Game Boy titles like Tetris, Metroid 2, Return of Samus, Warrior Land 3, and more later. Game Boy Advance, we can expect Mario Kart, Super Circuit, Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, and a lot of other games will be released later. Then, we got an indie break. And let's be honest, I sleep when the indie break comes. Like, some sense of sensors in my body feels when a first party or a second party game release. Yeah, it's a Nintendo sensor, to be honest. And、uh, it becomes pretty boring for me when the indie break comes. Next, we had my number one and my favorite thing in the whole direct the Splatoon 3 DLC expansion pass. We got the Splatoon. Uh, expansion Pass, which is a PL DLC with two waves of content. The first one, which adds Incopolis, a location from the original Splatoon 1. If you're a Splatoon fan from the days of the Wii U, then you're a true Nintendo fan. We got new shops and a new shopkeeper that have been taking the interest of the whole Twitter eternity. Like, A lot of people have been talking about him. He got a really weird design, like Nintendo must update him. <laughs> Now, we got the first wave, which will be coming to the Nintendo Switch in the spring, and Kelly and Marie are back to hold the Splatfest. Yay!、Um, and if you notice, you'll be hearing in the direct, the trailer,、um, Color City new version, which is, yeah, I loved it. Like, really loved it. And looking forward to listening to it. Next, we had 
the second wave which is called Side Order and to be honest it's pretty um, mysterical. It will come later and it is the new update to the single player mod. Um, what we got is some like hazy pictures look like memories. We got um, an actually which like makes me feel like there's something new amazing my hypothesis that it might be marina and like she's remembering the memories of her coming to in copla square but when you think about it the story of how marina became the idol is like she was in mount mantai in octo valley right and then there she met crawl like it might be a little bit different, it might explain some stuff new, maybe we got a new Agent 8, or even those are the memories of Agent 8, like of the Octa expansion, or just memories of someone, someone random, like we still don't know anything, like don't put yourself um, in, the, uh, in the heads of the rumors, they're not going to be worth anything. Next we had something that made me so sad, the Fire Emblem Engage Expansion Pass Pack 2, which got this time to shine the new emblems, we got Emblem Hector, Emblem Soren, Emblem Chrom and Robin, Robin, sorry, Emblem Veronica, and what re really made me sad, Emblem Camilla. Like, why not Azara? Like, why not Azara? The name is typically of how I expected Azra to be. Why is Emblem Camilla Emblem of Revelation? And not Azra Emblem of Revelation. Like she got a revelation of the Lost in Thoughts All Alone song. Why she can be like Nintendo are trying to kill her because she's just an amazing character. They didn't even put her in in the Super Smash. Uh, anyways, then we got the trailer that teased Pack 3 and Pack 4 with a Xenalog that yeah, it looks a little bit good. I didn't like it actually. Next we had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Course Wave 4. Um, we got the DLC that comes to the Nintendo Switch later in the spring. We got Yoshi's Island Course and thankfully Birdo. I don't know why. Like, okay, Birdo is a good character, but like not that much. Then we got the must requested, must awaited thing in the whole universe the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom so we got some overview gameplay footage from the direct it will it's like it looks amazing and it will be released 12 may 2023 and they shared another look into the game and also it is the sequel of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild of 2017, if you don't know what is this game. Plus, keeping the open world exploration, expanding that upward into the sky, like Skyward Sword, if you remember. And also, the Link's next adventure will be higher than the normal price tag. It will cost $70, which I've shared on a Facebook post. And... We got sad a little bit, but let's talk about the game, like the game got a lot of new technology from the Hyrule technology, to be honest, they look amazing, like I'm so excited to try that flying way, yeah that fly mechanic, amazing, I really want to try it, it's so exciting. Like, a lot of graphic enhancement, but still you can feel it's the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, a new adventure, actually, I feel like the story is so exciting, it will be so exciting, I'm really sure that it will be. Um, I guess again, and where started with telling his slaves to conquer and to kill every survivor, because he must notice, Ganon always forgets to kill the survivors of the Hyrule Kingdom, and here we go! What made The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild end is by killing, uh, is by Link killing Ganon. So Ganon, good job, he, he remembered, but of course he'll lose to the game to complete, I guess. And those are the important highlights. We got Xenoblade Chronicles 3 next DLC, which will feature some Russian agent called Masha. 
and Mortal will be released on February 15. Plus, we got footage of a new course DLC that will have a story, and we found her Shulk and Rex. Rex, like, he grown up, like, really grown up from that child, though, me, who, like, Nia used to play with him with a lot of slangs, and she would kill him with her words. And to be ending today's episode, and today's, not today's episode, and to be ending the direct review, we got the beautiful and everyone's beloved Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. It will feature a new Megalore epilogue called Interdimensional something, I don't remember. And the game is also getting a demo the day the Direct is released. And to be honest, I downloaded the demo and didn't stop playing it for around 7 days since the release. Like, this demo is like, mwah, perfect. Like, so perfect, so joyful. The um, stages are amazing, power-ups simple and cute and perfect so like i could give this game a 10 out of 10 which is pretty rare to be honest and the game will as i said the game is going to be launched the 24th february and that's everything got announced plus of course some small stuff like a new castlevania game we got a footage from bayonetta origins the story of Ceriza, which calls Ceriza and the old demon or the ancient demon, something like that. And somebody amigo game. I'm not interested, as I said, in indie games or second party games. Like first party games are my focus always. Plus Fire Rumble, of course. So, what do you expect in future? I find Nintendo have sent a lot of meteors and fired us up with this direct. So I guess they'll be taking a break for some time. Like we might expect a new Nintendo Direct at five, like May. That's the date we that's the month where we might expect something. Because they released a lot of stuff. Like they noticed people are starting to get bored, and so they decided like need to do something that people love. Which is pretty good pretty amazing we got a lot of stuff that we've been wishing now the, my rating to this nintendo direct would be nine well like 9.5 out of 10 yeah the 0 0.5 per, uh, out of 10 is uh, for not adding other why camilla camilla must be killed i hate her like she's my most hated fire emblem character why adding her like in Super Smash, they added Karen instead of Azra. Now you're adding Kamala instead of Azra. You're making family problems. That's why Conquest, a uh, Fire Emblem Face Conquest, would be having a lot more fights later. What the f what the hell am I saying? Anyways, I guess that's the end of our podcast episode. I really enjoyed reviewing this stuff. It took me a lot of time, so please consider to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Follow if you're watching on um, Spotify, Google Podcast, or iTunes if I released. Um, thanks for watching, and until the next time, see you later. Skida!